Today we're in Aurora, Illinois, just west of Chicago, on the campus of the Illinois Math and Science Academy, where the National Consortium of Secondary STEM Schools is hosting its annual student research conference. The annual student research conference provides an opportunity for students in STEM high schools to come together to share their research, network, and collaborate with other STEM students from around the country. There are also professional development opportunities for the teacher chaperones. Let's take a closer look. conference is a really good experience for the students because having students from different schools, different NCAAS membership schools from across the country coming together and sharing um, the research is important. This also gives our students an opportunity to interact with and get to know each other. Uh, so conferences like this are fantastic for our students, not only because they get a chance to meet other students from across the U.S. that are doing research like what they're doing, so there's uh, the motivational aspect there to see other kids that are doing things like they are, um, but also just getting the chance to actually present, get that public speaking experience. Uh, a lot of them are going to go to grad school, so this is exactly what they'll need to be doing in grad school as well. So this is fantastic practice for that and really just to get a chance to get feedback on their research and learn ways that they can make it better and improve their processes moving forward. So one of the unique things about the NCSSS Research Conference is that it is very collegial, very relaxed, um, and it's a pleasure for students because it's different than the typical science research competitions that they participate in with throughout the country. So as a current medical student at Johns Hopkins, I've had this really incredible opportunity to see our high school students at such a young age be able to engage in research and have some of that self-guided learning. And and so when you, you take that into the network of um, entering a research conference, it's really exciting to see these students build out their network so young. Having research experiences at the high school level is huge for our students because when they get to the university, they're already, I'm going to say, well practiced at doing research, you know, coming up with questions and investigating those questions, I think is critical to their success. So I've been finding this conference really invaluable in terms of like building connections with other researchers from a lot of different places. Um, I found a lot of students who have research that's vastly different from mine and I think it's really interesting seeing uh, the avenues in which they conducted their research and how they've done it similarly and differently than I have and some students who have had research in the past that's very similar to the research that I'm presenting here today. Um, during my time at this conference, I've been able to meet a bunch of different people that all have done uh, research that I've not only considered in the past, but I've also maybe started to get involved in as of right now. And seeing people do research projects that I've potentially thought of before, or just done sort of topics that are similar to it, and seeing how they've been able to evolve, sort of gives me a, just a broader view of all the different things that you really can do when you sort of get into research, all different opportunities that really lay for you once you embark on this journey. So I think having the opportunity to do research is really, really awesome because it allows us to interact with college campuses before we go to college and it allows us to go more in depth about things we're really passionate about, which at a high school level, when you have like a general core curriculum and not a lot of elective opportunities, research is really unique in that it allows you to dive deeper and sort of customize your education and find out what you want to learn about on your own and it kind of allows you to develop skills that regular high school classes don't like self-advocacy and data analysis and you know communication and collaboration with people who you wouldn't see on an average day like elite scientists and researchers at your university. Um, coming here I was really excited but being able to be in a diverse space with people who haven't been able to have the same experiences I have but also having people who have the same interest I do such in like STEM or where they want to go in school in their secondary collegiate life. It has been really interesting and being able to broaden my perspective with other people as well. Uh, by looking at the research of the other students, I have learned a lot about 
how people can really uh, apply themselves in different areas, uh, can work with teams. I met this one girl who did this one project, which I thought was interesting. It was relating physics to biology. So she did a lot of the actual calculations and, and statistical analysis where her partners did the hands-on stuff, like counting the individual biomes and stuff. I thought that was, that was cool. It was just a cool idea in the first place about how it's a cell splitting apart and just seeing how it mechanically comes back together and then relating it to the biology of the cells. It's an interesting idea and interesting how they, how they took it further. All students at GSSM um, get the opportunity to participate in some form of research um, in either South Carolina or anywhere in the country, or even out of the country sometimes. Um, I know for me personally, um, I worked at Clemson University and that actually helped me determine where I wanted to go to school. I'll be there in the fall and it really helped me discover my passion for research within chemistry. Uh, having recently graduated from the Governor's School for Science and Math, um, Going to this research conference at IMSA has really given me the opportunity to practice my presentation skills, um, talk about my research, and just give people information about what I'm most passionate about. And I'm going to be a rising freshman at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, and I will continue doing research there because of my research opportunity at GSSM. And it was between like a mix of chemistry and AI and I'll continue implementing artificial intelligence into future research. For example, this summer I'll be doing research at University of South Carolina and it's a mix of psychology and artificial intelligence. So we really recommend for students who really love research and want to see other researchers who have the same passion to attend NCSSS. It's a great experience. Not only is research important, but knowing how to share your research is also a critical part of what it means to be somebody who's passionate about this. So as you can see, the National Consortium for Secondary STEM Schools Annual Student Research Conference is good for students, teachers, and administrators. They can come together and learn from each other. If you would like to be a part of it, check out the NCSS website. And remember, until next time, keep learning and growing.